What's up guys? Think Blue 77 and it's time for Dodgers baseball. Today I'm going to show you a car that I've been wanting and waiting for a number of years. My unicorn, my uh like I tell my son it's a I caught the leprechaun riding the unicorn and it's finally home. So as you guys know, I collect Ben Scully. Grew up listening to Scully and the Dodger games and kind of was what, you know, gave me a part of the love of the game, listening to him, tell the stories, talk about the players, um, just how he went about it, kind of put you in the game. So I've been looking for this card for a number of years and I finally came across one. And to have gotten it in the condition that I got it in is pretty amazing. So, here it is, finally, the unicorn. I know a lot of you probably could care less about it, but IPC, and this is the one that I was chasing for quite some time. So what you see here is an early 1951 postcard with uh, Connie Desmond, Red Barber, and Vince Gully. Issued in 51. These were uh, distributed pretty much uh, when fans had questions or concerns. They'd write to the to them and then they would send these postcards out to them. Here's the pack. The seller said it was uh, signed by Red Barber. And from what little research I've been doing or some of the research, it looks pretty legit. It could be a secretarial autograph. We don't know, it's not graded. Well, so far it looks all right, and Red Barber was known to sign his autographs mostly in red. So there's that, and it's postmarked there, 1951, which makes it even better. So there's that. So a lot of these through the 50s and 60s, as you've seen with some of my other postcards, they all have the same thing. Thanks for writing. Thanks for your suggestion. So on and so forth. You get these a lot throughout the 50s and 60s, even the 70s a little bit. Pretty generic. They'll sign it and send it back. But what I like is the condition I got this one in. Very clean. It has the postmark, which is a plus. Signed by Red Barber there so as you know red barber dodgers announcer later becoming a yankees announcers in the late 50s and early 60s and this is pretty much vince scully's rookie card right here he must have been 23 24 years old when this came out so a young scully red barber once was known uh to have said Ben Scully was pretty much the son he never had. So he took him under his wing and pretty much taught him what he knows as far as he brought him out to the Dodger organization and made him an announcer. And when he was gone for some time and he was out sick, later on he became uh, the full-time guy there with the organization so there it is guys i mean long awaited pretty much close to 10 years waiting for this one last one i saw sell was about that you know it was then and it was in a lot worse conditions than this one the other one i had seen was torn taped little corners were missing and um for me to have found this one was very good so there it is, guys. The unicorn has been caught, found, and is home where it should be. So there it is. Tell me, let me know what you guys think. All you Dodger fans, you know who you are. Mike Y. <clears throat> Pepino Man. G's Mikey. Joey brings it. Let me know. What do you guys think? Now you know what to look for if you're looking for one of these. And there's that. 
I can I hold it? No. Put it here. All right. So to end it off, we're going to go with the uh, funny card of the video. And we're going to go shout out to all the ladies out there that are looking for a rich bachelor for you. Or guys, Pepino, I don't know. Let me know. Looking for a rich bachelor. There it is. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.